how are animals, pets handled in a divorce? And, and it's an important question because pets are just as important to people as their children. Uh, we have such a strong uh, bond with our pets, and I know I do with, with my uh, border collie that we have. And uh, California's really been a forerunner in, in creating some laws that protect pets in a divorce case. Unfortunately, isn't the bottom line that pets are treated like personal property? They are people's personal property. They're not treated like children. Exactly. Under the law, pets are personal property, but the, California's also recognized that um, people can abuse pets as a way of getting back at their spouse. It's hard to think that somebody could do that to a, a cat or a dog, but they do. And so California's created some very strict laws on domestic violence that treat the injury to uh, a, a domestic animal as domestic violence uh, against that other partner and allow for uh, that abused person or potentially abused person to get custody of the pet to protect that pet and the other party from being abused. I think that is the first legislation in California that directly dealt with pets in a family law context. And it's important because I think that's the beginning of more legislation that, that's going to recognize that people have a right to their animals and that they're important to their animals. I would say this is not a petty issue.